Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for... K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. And I'm Gabby Concepcion, the attorney, not the artista, and this is K-Check. The smartest game show on television is now in its home stretch. Welcome everyone to day two of the K-Check semi-final round. Our weekly winners are back para sumagot ng mga tanong na magdadala sa kanila sa kanilang grand finals at the end of this week. At sa araw na yon, isa lang ang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Pero hindi lang ang weekly winners ang sasabak sa araw na to. Joining them will be our wild cards na pinili mula sa mga runners-up ng bawat weekly competition. And of course, kasama din namin kayong lahat na imbitadong makisagot sa mga tanong na haharapin ng ating mga contestants. Kilalanin natin ang apat na contestants na dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Freshman Asher's love for random and obscure facts propelled him to this spot in her semifinals with 340 points, the highest score in her competition so far. Wow! Harold is an English studies literature major na bagamat nakakatulugan ang pagbabasa ay gising na gising at panalo noong kanyang weekly finals. Contestant number three is Makoy who calls himself a Bicolanong millennial and is another one of the clear winners in our dailies. So now he can call himself a K-Check semi-finalist. Finally, our passionate Paula, a Dungeons and Dragons player who earned her spot in the semifinals just last week. She's back to try for a place in the grand finals. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Of course, nandiyan po si Professor Glessy Atienza ng College of Arts and Letters ng UP Diliman. Nandiyan din si Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And last, and maybe the least, and not the least, Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at the UP Diliman. And now, contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Asher, what is the name of the Greek counterpart of the Roman goddess Juno? Um, Athena. Male, Hera. Harold, in what country can you find Mount Everest and Annapurna? Correct answer is Nepal. McCoy, third question. What do you call a performer who makes his or her voice appear to come from a dummy? Um, ventriloquist. Okay. Paula, which 150 structure was given by France to the USA in 1886? The Statue of Liberty. Okay. Asher. What term is given to a thin, pointed heel on a lady's shoe or a dagger with a tapered blade? Kitten. Mate. Stiletto. Oh. Harold, which young French woman was burned at stake by the English in front of a cathedral in 1431? Which? one of art. McCoy. Uh, clue, the answer has three letters. What relative of the goldfish is a common pond fish and has whiskers like a catfish? Correct answer is the koi. Paula, which cartoon duck that starred in Looney Tunes first appeared in 1947 with Porky Pig? Um, Daffy Duck. Okay. Asher, Facebook was created by Mark Zuckerberg when he was a student at what university? Harvard. Okay, check. Harold, what school did the Red Lions of the NCAA play for? San Beda. McCoy, what empire did Claudius and Nero rule during the first century AD? Oh, the Roman Empire. Okay, check. Paula, what New York-based team fired head coach Steve Nash early in the 2020 2023 NBA season. Niners. The correct answer is Brooklyn Nets. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramian round. 
ang points natin, no? Let's start with Makoy and Paula na merong 20 points each. Kasunod si Asher na may 10 points at si Harold ay ahabol. Ang habol, syempre. Mm -hmm. Lahat dito, hindi pa natin alam kung sino ang magiging susunod na winner natin. Mm -hmm. So, magpustahan tayo mamaya. Okay, sige, sige. Okay. May mga katanungan ka ba sa mga contestants natin? Wala naman. Kaya lang, syempre, curious lang ako. Alam mo na, si Asher oh. holds the record for the most number of points. Kaya lang, as of today, hindi siya ang nanguna, di ba? Is there added pressure on your part, Asher? Honest po, I'm not really prepared for today. Like, iniindyan ko pa nga yung groupmates ko ngayon for our Supreme Court readings. Kasi like, we have a group work, pero like, I went here. So like, good luck na lang sa kanamaya. Supreme Court readings? Yes po. I'm a BS Legal Management student sa Ateneo. Oh, and actually po, like, one of, sorry, but I decide way, but... One of my influences actually is Attorney Gabby because like, I, I see when I was in elementary, I watch her <laughs> sa unang hilit and then her legal commentaries doon. Like, yun yung pinapanood ko nung uma, yung umaga ng bata ko. Maraming salamat, Asher. And of course, we wish you all the best. Correct. Diba? Mm. Prof. Glessy, may mga katanungan ka ba sa mga contestants natin? Oo, may mga katanungan ako. Pero gusto kong tanungin sana si Makoy. 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 Yes, okay. Makoy, ninenervyos ka ba? Yes po. <laughs> okay. Pagka ninenervyos ka, Makoy, meron ka bang naiisip kantahin? <laughs> uh, parang nakakatensyo. Okay. <laughs> parang Siguro nakakatensyo po, ano, question. Anima Christy. <laughs> ano, ano yun? Anima Christy. Anima, Anima Christy. Christy. Nakakatulong sa'yo yun. Specifically, the line from all the evils that surround me. Ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan Round? Next, here on K-Check! Tuloy pa rin tayo dito sa Karunungan Check. Yes. Now, let's points recap muna tayo. Si Makoy at si Paula may 20 points each. Si Asher has 10 points. At si Harold ay... Saan ngayon ay zero pa lang? Oo, pero sabi mo nga, nag-promise ka on his behalf na hahabol talaga siya yes. on Anima this Christy. round. <laughs> so, we're now going to the K-Check Pabilizan. Remember, contestants, buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round 2 na ito, parang upkat lang, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, pag-isipan muna ng maigi bago i-press ang buzzer. Let's begin! After Ben Affleck was married to which celebrity in 2022? Um, Asher. Jennifer... Um, Jennifer Lopez. Next question. What do you call the underground passageways for religious practice or chambers used as a burial place most commonly associated? McCoy. Catacomb. Correct. Okay, check. Question number three. The greatest female bowler in Philippine history was named as commissioner of the Philippine Asher. Uh, it's Bongko. Correct. Check. Which billionaire is the host of the reality TV show The Apprentice? McCoy. Donald Trump. Correct. Check. Next question. What nation between China and Russia? Paula. Mongolia. Correct. Check. Hindi pa nga natatanong ng gusto ang tanong, which by the way is, what nation between China and Russia has the lowest population density of any major country in the world? And the correct answer is Mongolia. Next question. What is the name of an isotope of hydrogen that has one proton and one neuron in its nucleus? 
Azure. Do you hear you? Correct. The complete question is, what is the name of an isotope of hydrogen that has one proton and one neutron in its nucleus and that has twice the mass of ordinary hydrogen? Deuterium. Correct. Next question. The Space Needle was built for the 1962 World's Fair in what American city? Makoy? Seattle. Seattle? Correct. In organizations, what does the World Tribunal, ICC, stand for? Asher. Uh, International Criminal Court. Correct. Now, in the NBA, which 37-year-old clear signed a $97 million two-year contract extension for the Los Angeles Lakers last August 2022? Magbasa kasi ng sports bar ng balita. The correct answer is LeBron James. Alright. Next question. What musical style in hip hop are sounds of drums or other instruments simulated by using the mouth and voice? Asher. Uh, it's beatboxing. Correct. Check. Beatboxing. Next question. What is the name of the French speaking province which has the largest area in Canada? Harold? Quebec. Quebec. The answer is correct. Check. Last question for this round. Who became Prime Minister of India in 2014? Yes, Ashu. It's Narendra Modi. Wow, correct. K-check. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan round. Mag-recap muna tayo ng mga points. Now, na si Asher with 130 points. Kasunod si McCoy with 80 points. Paul has 40 points and Harold has 20 points. Iba talaga ang galing ni Asher, no? Oh, so he has to live up to that pressure. Tingnan natin. At tingnan din natin kung ano naman ang gusto pang malaman ni Prof. Marian sa isa sa ating mga contestants for the day. Sige, gusto ko makahapon naman ay si Paula kasi siya lang ang girl lalo sa ating grupo. Pero mukhang siya yung pinaka-astig dahil siya ay nananalo sa uh, Dragons and Dungeons. Um, actually, yun. Dungeons and Dragons po is hindi po siya parang competitive po na game kasi it's more about collaborative storytelling po with other people. So you can play it with your friends and together po you make a story or you get to decide how the story goes po. And what um, <laughs> uh, char <laughs> the characteristics that you obtain from this game? Um, I'd like to think po na mas okay na po ako magsalita or parang mag um, mag word po ng mga bagay kasi um, kasi uh, since you says Dungeons and Dragons po kasi um, you will play as characters and you will act out as the character so there's some acting involved po with Dungeons and Dragons so madami po mga practice sa social skills when you play it oh, at sana magamit mo itong social skills sa iyong pag-aaral na linguistics di ba? para ang laki ng connect linguistics and True. dragon Thank you, Prof. Marian. Talagang maraming natututunan dito sa K-Check, not only from our panel of experts, but also from our contestants. Speaking of natututunan, <laughs> Prof. Neil, baka may gusto kang malaman. Patutunan sa mga contestants din natin. Eh, marami na tayong nalaman mula kay Paula, no? I think kay Harold naman, ano naman mga hobbies mo? Kasi alam ko, <laughs> sa intro, sabi nakakatulog ka habang <laughs> nagkakasa. Pero gusto kong malaman, ano yung hobbies mo bukod doon? Um, ayun, um, so, uh, I do photography din po sometimes, so yun. Kaya uh, kapag ka nag unwind po ako, ayan, um, I go somewhere, uh, someplace else, uh, enjoy my solitude, and then capture um, photos that will possibly reflect my um, uh, feelings that day. And then, um, actually, I'm a writer po, so yung photographs po na yun, um, ina-incorporate po siya sa book na ginagawa ko, and then there's also an illustration po. So, more on the artistic side po. <laughs> ayun po. <laughs> Maraming galing lang. Oh, <laughs> Napaka-busy naman ng ating contestant na si Harold. Uh, Napaka-well-rounded ni Harold. Well-rounded. Uh -huh. So many talents. Sana meron din akong ganun. <laughs> meron ka na. <laughs> and that's my biggest challenge. But in the meantime, this time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on k 
D Tech. Our last Pabilisan round, si Asher is at the top with 130 points. McCoy follows with 80, Paula with 40, and of course, Harold, our very artistic Harold, with 20 points. At ngayon, nandito na tayo sa ating ultimate K-check pagalingan, where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, Surround na ito sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang papasok sa K-Check Grand Finals. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin! Question number one, Prof. Lessie. Hello. Uh, sa arts ito. Painters use brushes and paint, painting materials to paint. Singers utilize their vocal cords to sing. What is the main medium of communication of actors when they perform on stage? Facial, Asher? facial expressions and gestures. Wrong. Answer is the body. Katawan. Bro, Neil, gamitin mo ang body mo ngayon. Kapag ano, pag sabi ng question na yan. <laughs> Facial expression of body, <laughs> bodily gesture. Parang mahirap gawin yan. Galing sa teatro si Ma'am Glessing, no? magaling siya sa bodily gestures at facial expression. So, ito yung tanong ko mula sa kasaysayan. Ano ang ambag o contribution ng scholar na si Peter Bellwood sa pag-unawa ng sinaunang kasaysayang Pilipino. Pakakailangan ko pa ipakilala si Peter Bellwood. Professor Emeritus siya sa arkeolohiya mula sa Australian National University. Siya ang nagpasimuno ng out of Taiwan hypothesis for astronomical migration. Ang tamang sagot sa kanyang pag-aaral, itinampok niya ang Pilipinas bilang isa sa mga lumang sentro ng kapyas ng astronomiano. Kailangan ma-meet natin. <laughs> Prof Maria. Easy muna. Which two planets of the solar system have the most or highest number of known moons. Asher. Um, Jupiter and Saturn. Okay. Ang moon, it's a celestial body, ayan, a body, that orbits around a planet, pwede rin sa asteroid. So, may mga planets na one, well, one moon tayo, two moons ang? Mars. Mars, very good. Ano yung walang moon? Um, Mercury and Venus. Ay, alam lahat. Ikaw na, Asher. Sige. <laughs> so, Uranus, ilan? Huwag na po. <laughs> Walk out. <laughs> okay, so yung dalawang pinakamadami, uh, both confirmed, meron pa lang confirmed and provisional, will be Jupiter with 80 moons and Saturn with 83 moons. Okay, check. Thank you, Prof. Maya. No? Something with 80 moons. No? Imagine that. Prof. Glessie. It was the site of the national headquarters of the Philippine Army and was formerly known as Fort Andres Bonifacio, father of the Philippine Revolution. It is currently known as Bonifacio Global City for its highly urbanized, urbanized commercial district and high-rise buildings. What was its name? before it was named Fort Andres Bonifacio. The correct answer is Fort William Mackin. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know. I'm not in the road. 
Rock Neal. Okay, dagdag na information lang. Si William McKinley, ang presidente ng Estados Unidos okay. na nagdeklara ng benevolent assimilation. Sinakop tayo ng mga Amerika. Pero, so, ito yung tanong ko. Anong dalawang kilusan na lumakas noong dekada 1930 o 1930s ang bumatikos sa mga politikong kaanib ng Nationalista Party bilang tagapagsulong na huwad, ng huwad na kalayaan na ipinapangako ng mga Amerikano. So sila ang bumabatikos sa mga membro ng Partido Nasyonalista na tagapagsulong ng huwad na kalayaan. Ano ang dalawang kilusan na ito? Kapwa sila bumatikos sa Partido Nasyonalista na nagdadala o tagapagsulong ng huwad na kalayaan pero pagdating ng mga Hapon, nag-iba sila ng landas. Yung isang kilusan, lumaban sa mga Hapon. Yung isang kilusan naman ay kumampi sa mga Hapon. So ang tamang sagot ay yung kumampi sa mga Hapon ang kilosang sakdan, yung lumaban sa mga Hapon ang Partido Komunista na Pilipinas. Maraming salamat, Prof. Prof. Maria, next question please. Asal ah, namin alam ni Asher eh. Ano masabi ko? Landa niya side ko. Ikaw na. Sige, next question. Uh, pumunta akong BGC kasi may sale. Hindi, so usapang sale to. A pair of socks, okay, costing 100 pesos was on sale at a 10% discount. Okay, so 100 pesos siya, 10% discount. If a 10% sales tax is applied to the discounted price, how much would a customer pay? McCoy. Um, 99 pesos. Mukhang ikaw ay mahilig mag-shopping. Okay, check. So, 10% ng 100 ay 90. 90 and then add 10% on 69. So, 99 pesos. Okay, check. Happy. Thank you, Prof. Marian. Prof. Lessie, next question, please. Um, microphone. Philippine Theater and Infrastructures. What is the name of this former military garrison in Intramuros which was transformed by Leandro Loxin into a T-shaped stage. Ang sagot ay Dulaang Raja Sulaiman or Raja Sulaiman Theater. Ito yung tanging T-shaped sta stage sa buong mundo. Yan ang sinasabi. Okay. Salamat. Prof. Neil, next question. Hindi ko alam kung mahilig kayo sa UAAP. Pero alam ko, pag taga-UP ka, sobra kang saya dahil nasa top tayo ngayon. Okay, so yung tanong ko, bukod sa UP, magbigay ng dalawang founding member universities ng UAAP. Paula? Ateneo and La Salle. Yung mga sagot ni Paula ay hindi sila founding member universities galing sila sa Karibal na Liga, yung NCAA. So lumipat lang sila pagkatapos ng gera sa laban sa Hapon. So ang, usib, ang mga tamang sagot ay Far Eastern University, National University, at University of Santo Tomas. Prof. Marian, what's your question? Magunahan. <laughs> what day was designated by UNESCO as the International Day of Mathematics. McCoy. I'd wager, I guess, March 14 for 3.14. Parang magandang guess yan. Bakit nag-guess ka ng March 14? For pi, pi day. Okay, so it comes from pi, which is 3.14159926. So it's approximately 3.14. So pi day is 3.14. March 14, ginawa na rin siyang International Day of 
mathematics. Okay, check! Thank you! Talaga bang yes lang yun, Makon? Parang ilalagay ko sa calendar ko yung araw na yun kasi I'm interested. Mas dumikit pa yung laban, no? Asher has 145 points, Makoy has 140 points, no? Meron pa tayong tatlong mga katalungan for this round, okay? So, go, go, go. Prof. Desi. Okay, ito. Sa Filipino, ano ang tawag sa punctuation mark sa Filipino? Ang sagot ay pagbabantas. Oh, hindi pang mark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pang Two questions from you. na lang. Okay. Second to the last question from you. Hindi, <laughs> parang kailangan ko na yung bumalik sa Filipino. Nakalimutan ko rin na yun yung Filipino equivalent term. So, ito yung huling tanong wala sa akin. Uh, isang tanong para sa world history. Sa anong digmaan natalo ng Israel ang bansang Egypt, Syria, at Jordan na nagbigay daan sa pagkuha ng Israel ng maraming teritoryo tulad ng Sinai Peninsula, West Bank, at Golan Heights. Oh, nakakuha pero anong tamang sagot from you? Ang tamang sagot ay na-pressure ko. Dapat magpapaliwanag pa ako. <laughs> Pero ibibigay ko ng tamang sagot. Excited si <laughs> Junet. Uh, Arab-Israeli War of 1967 or Six-Day War? Sa pinakahuling tanong. Ano? Pinakahuling tanong. Ano talaga magkakaalaman. Diba? Magkakaalaman tayo. Oh. I feel so pressured right now. Okay. Ito na po. Last question. H2O2 is a liquid chemical compound slightly more viscous than water and is used as an antiseptic and bleaching. Voila. Hydrogen peroxide. Okay. So the question is what is the common name of H2O2? Correct answer is hydrogen peroxide. K check. Alam ni Asher yun. K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Asher, our second contestant, to get a spot in our grand final with 145 points. We will receive power bank from CBUP and we'll see Asher again on Friday for the K-Check Grand Final. And of course, thanks to Harold, Mahoy, and Paula for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Blessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Maria. This is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. And I am Janelle Abor. Join us again tomorrow for another semi-final round here on KCheck.